We're in Hanoi, Vietnam to celebrate Tet. Join us as we explore the lively streets of the Old Quarter and end our night at Taeho, where we'll witness the largest drone show ever held in Southeast Asia. Chúc mừng Nam Moi! Happy New Year from Hanoi! We weren't sure what to expect since we'd heard mixed things about being in Vietnam during Tet as foreigners. While information online led us to believe that the magic only happens inside the home, many of our subscribers said we should still visit, so we decided to do what we do best and wander around to see for ourselves. Just as we grew up decorating pine trees for the Christmas holiday, Vietnamese people buy many flowers and plants to decorate their homes during this special time of year. During Tet, it is a tradition for Vietnamese families to put up ornamental plants around their houses to express a wish for good luck, happiness, and prosperity in the new year. Peach blossoms and kumquat trees are common in the north, while southern people prefer apricot blossoms. They are often placed alongside other fruits that serve as offerings to their ancestors. As we approached the Old Quarter, the streets came alive with vendors selling flowers, food, traditional Tet decorations, and souvenirs. <laughs> so crowded. It's the year of the dragon, so you'll see tons of dragon balloons everywhere, and they're super, super cute. <laughs> Everything that we saw led us to believe that it was going to be very dead during Tet, and I can say that that is anything but the case. And I'm really, really happy that we came out here. I would definitely recommend you to visit Vietnam during Tet. It is a super fun experience. It is very, very lively, and we're having a really fun time. The Lunar New Year is a festive occasion celebrated by many Asian cultures, each with its own unique variations. It signifies the beginning of the New Year according to the lunisolar calendar, which calculates the months based on the phases of the moon and the position of the sun in the sky. In Vietnam, the celebration of Lunar New Year is known as Tet, short for Tet Nguyen Dan, which means festival of the first day. Many people return to their homes to visit their families and bring gifts to participate in the festivities. It's a time to welcome good luck and prosperity and give offerings to their ancestors. Like other Lunar New Year celebrations, the color red is used extensively in decorations and clothing, and loud noises and fireworks can be heard echoing through the streets to ward off evil spirits and bad fortune. We spent part of the day looking for a few traditional foods, but had no luck finding someone to sell them to us. Oh no, how much for just, you can only buy, how much for one? No, 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 no buy one. Uh, you can't buy one. One pack? One pack? We're shooting them everywhere. Can you try? Huh? Can you try? Can I try? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah, It'll fill up. Yeah. Wait, wait. Three minutes? Yeah. Oh, it's very cold. <laughs> It'll get tight? Yeah. 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 We're going to be celebrating all day. <laughs> we should give some to some kids. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Want one? Yeah, yeah. No. No. We don't need all of them. While exploring, we were drawn to the delightful aroma of this clay pot milk tea. This special beverage originates from Yunnan, China, and has gained immense popularity on the streets of Hanoi at the end of the year. Though it requires a lot of effort to make, it's definitely worth trying if you come across it. Okay, so we got our milk tea, and it's got lots of little flowers in it. It's really, really beautiful. I don't know what these are, but it smells.
smells great. It smells very floral. So let's try this out. <laughs> it's so good. It tastes a little bit like the flowers and milk tea, which makes sense. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> it's sweet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like perfectly sweet. It's got so much stuff in it. She has like spices and dried cinnamon and whatever these little wood looking things are. It's just very complex and very, very flavorful. It cost us uh, 50,000 dong, so about $2 US. And it says, Chuk Mung Nam Mui, which means Happy New Year. <laughs> Vietnam knows how to do a celebration. This place is very, very busy. There's lots of traditional food and drink. That tea we just had was amazing. We're on the lookout for a couple of food items that we've been told are like traditional items you have to try during Tet. So we're gonna hope that we find some of those. One of them is a, like a sticky rice cake. With pork? Yeah, it's like sticky rice, mung bean, and pork. What is it? It's bon... Bon chung. Bon chung. Bon chung. Not to be confused with trung, which is egg. But yeah, so we're gonna try and find that if we can. Yeah, just kind of walk around and enjoy. We're very excited to be here to experience it. Yeah, so. it's fun. We were talking to some locals and they said that tomorrow everything's gonna be closed down. So I'm really, really happy that we came out here today and didn't procrastinate like we usually do. <laughs> like we always do. Like we always do. <laughs> As we walked towards Han Kiem Lake, the atmosphere became lively with an energy that can only be described if you've been to Hanoi. Families swarmed to this iconic lake while vendors set up to sell their goods. We made a quick stop to collect our puppet show tickets, which we'll show you in an upcoming video before grabbing a bite to eat. Uh, can I do one, uh, Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Extra crispy. <laughs> That was just bread. <laughs> Everywhere we looked, families and friends gathered for photo shoots and to soak in the scenery. Dressed in traditional clothes and carrying symbols of fortune, Tet truly celebrates loved ones and togetherness. There were several large displays around Juan Quin Lake perfect for photos and bringing unique ambience to the already picturesque setting. Across the street was a whole different vibe though. Tiny electric cars and scooters whizzed by with the same regard for traffic laws as the rest of Hanoi. Some were controlled by the children and others by the parents and it was truly a sight to behold. <laughs> They sure do know how to have fun on Tet here in Hanoi. This is a wild experience. I'm super glad we're here. We almost stayed in and watched Netflix. Actually, last night we watched Going Home for Tet on Netflix, which is a Vietnamese Netflix comedy movie, and it's hilarious. It's very interesting. It sure was. <laughs> now we're at Lai Thai Tong. I'm guessing was an emperor at one time. Probably. It's a very impressive bronze statue though. There's so many people getting photos. I feel like we're right in the middle of all of it.
As the afternoon faded into darkness, we made our way towards another area of the old quarter to see what, if anything, was happening. As we were passing the St. Joseph's Cathedral, we noticed a vendor selling a variety of dried and candied fruits, also known as muktet. These are commonly kept at home to offer visiting relatives, and we couldn't resist trying them. Okay, so what did you get? Uh, I don't know. I think I got beets and something salty. Not what I thought I was getting, though. Which is okay. I'd be good. Oh. I'd be good. Sweet. Okay. Okay. We'll get that, too. Cool. Uh, this, yeah, yeah. Mop, mop, mop. Mop, mop. Okay, coming. How much? Uh, about you. Uh, 30, 30. 30, 30. Oh, it's probably 90,000 for all of them. I like all the street chickens. <laughs> I think you like all the street animals. I do. Pretty soon we're going to see street cows. It's about 7.30 now and it looks like everything's finally starting to shut down. So this is the perfect time for us to take a break, go chill at home for a little bit and yeah, we'll see you at the drone show. After a short break at our apartment in Truck Block, it was time for us to make our way to Tejo for the drone show and fireworks display. We had read online that there was an ideal spot to catch the show in all its glory and we aimed to get the best view we could. A huge number of people gathered around the perimeter of this enormous lake, eagerly awaiting the record-setting event. As we approached the location recommended by the internet, the crowds grew denser, the trees thicker, and suddenly 2,024 brightly colored lights appeared in the sky on the horizon. <laughs> The synchronicity of the computer-controlled drones was impressive and like nothing we'd ever seen before. We did our best to move through the massive crowd to get a better view, but in the end, we just enjoyed the fact that we could be a part of this incredible experience with all of the people around us. Just as midnight approached, an impressive fireworks display exploded into the night sky on the other side of Westlake in a beautiful attempt to ward off evil and ring in the new year. The fireworks were truly magical, but nothing could compare to the beauty of how this day brings people together. From the young to the old, locals to foreigners, families to friends, Tet is a genuine celebration of love and happiness. It's a time to set your worries aside and embrace the warmth around you. We're so happy we got to experience the magic of this beautiful holiday in Vietnam a place we feel like is a second home to us now, where the people are warm and kind and where they sure know how to throw a really good party. Never fails. <laughs> I got her. Mine's pretty full. Okay, mine's not yet. Okay. Chuk mong nam moi. Chuk mong nam moi. Chuk mong nam moi. All right. One. <laughs> on one. Yeah. On one. I didn't pull it. It just blew. It sure did. <laughs> All right. All right. Chuk mong nam moi. <laughs> Way to go, baby. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh no. This is how we do things. Nailed it. We have a few more videos coming soon from our recent time in Vietnam. But if you can't wait, go ahead and check out our first series here on the left. 
and subscribe if you're new. As always, we'll see you in the next one.